Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So again, today you will not be seeing my face because I'm going to be doing a nail design for you. Starting with a nail base of um, OPI's Nail Envy. I'm going to put that on all of our nails to create a good base for the polish to stick to. Um, this is my first time doing this nail design um, ever, so bear with me. I'm trying to actually be neat for a change and not get nail polish all over my fingers. So we're going to finish putting that base um, on. Next we're going to move on to our next coat of polish which is an Essie brand. And I'm trying to get my camera to focus but I don't think it is. The name of the color is for the twill of it. So we're going to apply a pretty good thin layer of that polish. Um, it, it's pretty opaque so you really don't need a lot and you want your nails to be very dry for the next step so I'm pretty impatient and I painted um, a coat of Insta Dry by Sally Hansen on all of my nails to ensure that they were very dry um, for the next part of our nail design process. So after you've applied this, uh, wait a couple, I say about a minute for that Insta Dry to dry your nails. And what you're going to do next is find a, um, a different color, preferably something that is cream if you're using that metallic base. And you're going to make sure you shake the polish up like I'm doing here, rolling it around in the palms of my hand. And we're going to start with applying this color to our nails. Now what you want to do is make sure you're not applying it all the way over. You're going to start a little bit higher than your um, cuticle area where the metallic polish is and paint like you would your fingernail but not painting that portion there at the very bottom. Um, you're going to go back over with a different, another coat of the same color so don't worry if it looks kind of streaky um, when you first put that first coat down. So you're going to do that to all of your nails and um, be sure and apply that second coat as well after you've applied the first coat. So you have a opacity, opacity, an opaque fingernail, basically. And as you see here, um, that second coat we applied to our pointer finger makes it uh, completely opaque so you're not seeing any streakiness or any of that other color underneath um, through that magenta polish. So go ahead and finish putting the second coat on all the rest of your fingernails and we'll be back with our next step. So at this point, you could have left your nails just like that and applied a top coat, but I'm choosing to do a little bit extra. So taking that same color by Essie that we applied on first, and I'm taking a little tray. It's actually the lid of off of one of my Bath & Body Works candles. Um, you're going to put a couple drops of that polish on there. And next what you're going to do is you're going to find anything, a toothpick, a bobby pin, or if you own a dotting tool, um, that's what I'm going to be using here. Um, once I find it, I think I'm still looking for it. Oh, there it is. So you can find these on Amazon. You can get a pack of like five um, for a couple bucks. So you're going to take the dotting tool and dip it in the polish and apply dots wherever you want to on your nails. Um, I wanted it on my ring finger and I wanted to apply three dots. And I felt like I needed more than that. So I'm going to go in with the same thing and do that on my pointer finger. So once we have that on there, 
We're gonna wait a little bit for that to dry and you're gonna apply your um, top coat and this here is the finished manicure. Um, this is a Rufian style manicure um, and you can do any colored you know, assortment that you want. I find that the metallic and the cream makes a really good um, complement of one another. And that's all we have. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.